starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness because that's when stars shine brightest. If you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you would already know that the title of tonight's show is a sort of a funny question, and that's because the title is An Accident? And that is because there can be some rather dangerous accident that can appear to be an accident right now, but the way that the planets are lined up, particularly five planets that are very harshly squaring each other between the signs of Aries and Capricorn, it actually looks that it's not like something that occurs quite suddenly isn't an accident. In fact, it could be a carefully planned, premeditated attack. So this next week is going to be a very dangerous week for everyone. And that is because of these five planets that are harshly squaring each other, there are two pair of planets that are particularly harshly squaring each other. And that is because in the sign of Aries, which rules new beginnings, Mercury has moved up to the 26th degree and it is conjuncting Uranus, that planet of sudden surprising change. And remember, Uranus is a malefic planet. It can get you in trouble. And that is because it not only rules sudden surprising change, but it does rule aviation and space and it rules computers. So there might be a cyber attack or it is simply an awful time to be flying. I hope nobody's flying in the next week because the, the uh, two planets that are in Aries, Mercury and Uranus, with Uranus being at the 29th degree and about to change signs next week, um, it is extremely volatile and anything could happen. Those pair of planets are being squared by Saturn, which is in Capricorn, and it's the ruler of the sign, so it's very strong and very strict. And then there is another pair of planets that is precisely squaring the pair in Aries, and they are Mars and Pluto in Capricorn. Mars is exalted in Capricorn. It's even stronger there than it is in Aries or in Scorpio, the two signs that it rules. And so Mars is a fast mover. It has moved ahead of Pluto now, but it's still conjuncting Pluto. So Mars is at 28 degrees. Remember that Uranus is at 29 degrees, so they are in exact square. And Pluto is at 21 degrees, so they are conjuncting. Mars and Pluto are the rulers of Scorpio. The three planets in Capricorn are sextiling Jupiter in Scorpio, and they're sextiling Neptune in Pisces. They have a lot of support around them, and they're just strong on their own as it is. But there are different kinds uh, or different levels of being a Scorpio, and the lowest level can be represented by jealousy or revenge or greed. And that is why I'm saying that sometime, particularly in the next week, while these planets are so exactly and harshly squaring each other, I'm not so certain that a, quote, accident is really that. In fact, it could be a premeditated, carefully planned attack motivated by jealousy, revenge, or greed. And so it doesn't mean that that would be readily apparent because something could be carefully made to look like an accident, but it really isn't. At least that's the way the planets seem to be indicating right now. Another thing that can be troubling as well is that all may not be well in relationships, and that is because Venus in uh, Gemini is being squared by both the Moon and Neptune today in Pisces. And so with these planets squaring each other, it simply means since Gemini rules young people and Venus is the planet of love, it can be that young people or lovers can be at odds with each other, or it can simply be since the sign of Pisces has both the moon and Neptune in it, it can be that there can be people around that are really good at playing the poor me game or playing the victim role. And they can be doing that to their great advantage right now. And the reason why is that they may be coveting the spotlight. Remember, the moon is a lot of light. 
And this is, this Pisces rules things behind the scenes, but these two planets in Pisces can really be pulling at the heartstrings and they can be evoking sympathy because of people's sad tales of woe, when actually it can be that these people are coveting the spotlight in order to gain financial benefit that can greatly enrich them, particularly if you fall for their stories right now. So the question arises, just when will the truth rise to the surface? Because that's what's really important, or are we just going to be fooled by a lot of things right now? Well, actually, it's going to take a while for the truth to surface, but it will. And that is because right now, the aspects do indicate that something that appears to be an accident is not that at all. In fact, it is carefully planned, premeditated, and motivated. It's an attack motivated by either jealousy, revenge, or greed. This is also something that could have already happened. It could have even happened long ago. And we just never realized that there is a little more to it than just an accident. But there are three retrograde planets right now. When planets go retrograde on their orbit, it means they're going back over the same uh, space that they've already covered before, and generally more information comes out. By next month, by, in June, by the end of the month, there will be five retrograde planets. So there's going to be a lot more information coming out. And then by July, when Jupiter does go direct in Scorpio, which does rule justice and survival, that is when the truth probably really will come out and we will know what's going on despite any phony victim stories or despite anything that appears to be accidental. So we will get at the truth. It's just going to take a little while. But right now, the aspects indicate that something that appears to be a sudden accident is really not. It's really meant to be, and it's really meant to be an attack instead. And that is why we need to be very, very careful in the next week. Don't take anything or anyone for granted. All right, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? <clears throat> well, Aries, this is certainly a time <clears throat> when you can be subject to an unexpected change of one sort or another. So what can you do? Well, the first thing you can do, Aries, is really keep your guard up. And that means you can't take anybody for granted right now. So what you should try to do is protect, carefully protect, whomever or whatever you really love. Because you could be subject to some sudden surprising news, or it could be worse than that. It could be something that looks like an accident, and so you need to be aware of anything that's coming at you too fast. Remember, Aries, it's your own ruler, Mars, that is at 28 degrees and conjuncting Pluto in Capricorn and squaring Uranus in your sign at 29 degrees. Now, the good news is Uranus is just about to leave your sign. It's been in your sign for seven years. But it's going to move on next week when we have a fabulous new moon in Taurus, which I'll talk about next week. And so it, it will finally be gone from your sign, and that means that your life could settle down a little bit. But this week is the dangerous week, and that's why you need to be extra careful with everything, Aries. Uh, just realize that there's a lot at stake right now, and you've really got to protect not just yourself, but everyone and everything that you love. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? <clears throat> well, Taurus, I think that in the background of your life, you may get a shocking surprise. And that is because Mercury and Uranus are conjuncting in Aries, which is right behind your sun sign. Now, your sign has the sun in it, and there's a wonderful new moon coming in your sign next week. And the three planets in Capricorn are also trining your sun. So outwardly, I think that as long as you're being sort of real steady right now, things can be looking pretty good for you. But behind the scenes, there is danger. 
and that is because that Uranus is a very volatile planet. It's at the 29th degree of fate, and it is being sorely aspected, and so is Mercury in Aries. And that's why I think you're going to get some shocking news behind the scenes. So as long as it's just news, I think that you're going to be able to sort of roll with it because even if it is shocking news, you've got a new moon coming your way next week, Taurus, and that will get you on better footing and it's a fabulous new moon as well. So it's this week you have to guard against a shocking surprise behind the scenes. I don't think you can prevent it, but at least I think that you'll be able to do something about it and it'll be something new. So this is the week you need to be careful next week you can decide what to do about it so I think you're going to be able to make a good choice but for this week boy you just need to watch out because you're going to get some sort of shock behind the scenes Taurus and um, and I, I think you'll just sort of have to react to it slowly not quickly okay what does it mean to a Gemini well Gemini Venus is in your sign so of course you could be in the mood for love and and making peace or trying to compromise with people or doing things that are legal and upright, that would be great. Except that the moon and Neptune today are squaring that Venus in your sign. And that simply means you really don't know who to trust. And in fact, there can be a lot of people around that are sure not telling you the whole truth. In fact, there could be somebody around who is really lying to you right now, Gemini. And yet they would be doing it in a way that's trying to evoke sympathy while they uh, covet the spotlight so that they can enrich themselves. And they might be trying to enrich themselves at your expense, Gemini. So this is not a good time for you to be falling for somebody's poor me role. And even if they are wanting to tug at your heartstrings, I hope you resist right now, Gemini, because there are no other planets in the air signs so you are very vulnerable to other people telling you a sad tale of woe that isn't true at all. And that is why you could be sort of hoodwinked or tricked right now. So I wouldn't really, um, I wouldn't respond to anybody's sad tale of woe because, you know, you of all people should know, Gemini, that talk is cheap. And that's why you really shouldn't listen to anything unless you've got written proof that's verified by an independent source right now. So just step back and try to invent a little excuse or go on vacation in the next week because those planets in Aries are sextiling your sun. And if there is something very surprising and shocking that appears to be an accident but isn't, believe it or not, I don't think it will hurt you, Gemini. But you don't need to invite trouble right now either. That's why you should either stay quiet or else go on vacation if you can. Avoid things right this week, Gemini. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, this is a time when I think you need to be very, very careful because yours is a cardinal sign. And that means that the uh, planets in Aries, Mercury and Uranus, which are conjuncting each other, they're a pair of planets, and Uranus is at that 29th degree they are squaring your sun sign, and Saturn, Mars, and Pluto are opposing your sun sign. And Mars and Pluto are another pair of planets that are an exact square to these in um, Aries. So all of the malefic planets are in harsh aspect to your sun sign, Cancer, and to the Libra sun sign. And that means you have to guard everything as well. You have to guard your loved ones, you have to guard your home, and your family members, and you have to you have to be on guard wherever you go because there really could be something coming at you too fast or there could be some shocking news. And I think that you are going to be able to, be, uh, to do something about that. It doesn't mean that you couldn't be harmed by an accident, but Jupiter in Scorpio is trining your sun and the moon, your own ruler, and Neptune are in Pisces also trining your sun you could quickly go to your sources behind the scenes and find out the real truth. But still, I would keep my guard up right now because you are very vulnerable to something that might look like an accident, but I think it's a, a, a well-disguised attack. And you need to be careful about that, Cancer, if you can be. 
Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, this is a time when something, some news could be coming at you real quickly, and it would be very surprising news, something that you weren't expecting. And that is because Mercury rules news, and it is conjuncting Uranus, that planet of surprise in Aries, and they are trining your sun sign. That surprising or shocking news could be about something that is connected with finances. And that is why you shouldn't respond too quickly to it because the sun in Taurus is squaring your sun, Jupiter in Scorpio is squaring your sun. Those are the two fixed financial signs. And next week's new moon in Taurus, where, when it will have more planets there, is, is going to be harshly squaring your sun. So I think that somebody can have some urgent appeal or they could try a poor me story on you or you could get some shocking, surprising news. And fire signs like to act fast. This is not the time for you to do that, Leo, because you could overreact and it would cost you a bundle. So don't do that. No matter what the shocking news is or a, a big surprise, try to step back and somewhat absorb it and think slowly about how you can react to it. Uh, at, least, at least you should be very, very careful. And don't part with money right now if you can help it, Leo. At least don't do that quickly because somebody could be deceiving you. And so this is not a time for you to let go of any money or to go into debt. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, this is a time when as far as your career and your investments and your health and your job performance go, I think you're on really solid ground and you're being well thought of because the sun in Taurus is trining your sun and so are Saturn, Mars, and Pluto in Capricorn. So while these planets can be uh, in Capricorn can be causing a dangerous situation or a shocking situation for others, they are really fortifying you, Virgo. And so I think you're really on, as I said, solid ground, particularly about material matters. However, yours is a mutable sign and Venus in Gemini is squaring your sun sign. And that moon today uh, is conjuncting Neptune in Pisces and they are opposing your sun sign. So there really is somebody around that is selling you a lot of blue sky and they are not telling you a, even a grain of truth. They're either inventing something or else they're really trying to pull at your heartstrings, Virgo, and make you feel sorry for them when actually they are coveting the spotlight and intentionally deceiving you in order to gain benefits, financial benefit from you. So this is not the time for you to listen to anybody's poor me tale or to feel sorry for anybody because unless you have proof that they're really telling you the truth, I would stick to my career right now and not get involved in um, problems that have to do with any relationships because all is not well among a lot of relationships right now. And so there's something wrong in one of yours and I think that you're a person that trusts, trusts the details. Right now somebody is just telling you something. They're not exactly proving it. So try to resist the urge to sympathize and keep your hands in your pocket, Virgo. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, this is a time when you two, just like Cancer, have to be very, very careful, and that's because yours is a cardinal sign. And this is a dangerous time for all of us, but particularly people who are strong in either Aries, Cancer, Libra, or Capricorn, because those are the four cardinal signs, and that's where the dangerous planets are. And so, Libra, you have Mercury and Uranus in Aries opposing your sun sign, so you too could get shocking news or very surprising news, and it, it, it would really throw you off balance. But you have, to, you have to maintain a calm demeanor and not react too quickly because you don't know if something appears one way but is actually another. Uh, because you may not know the whole truth about something yet. And then the planets that are in Capricorn, Saturn, Mars, and Pluto are dangerously squaring your sun sign. 
And so that means that there can be trouble at a pretty high level in a government organization or a corporation. And you two should still not respond quickly to anything right now. But instead, hopefully you're not flying this week, Libra. Nobody should be flying. And also, you need to guard uh, anything that has to do with cybersecurity and really try to protect whomever or whatever you really love. And you can get some help with that. You can make some small changes right now that could sort of help you keep your guard up, Libra, because Venus is in Gemini, trining your son. And that means you could get good legal advice, or you could find a nice replacement right now that could um, be quite uh, helpful to you. So uh, protect yourself, but at the same time, uh, reach out to others who can help you, particularly legally, because they'll be around. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, this is a time when I think that sooner or later justice will prevail, but just, but, and your sign rules justice, but Jupiter is retrograde in your sign, and there are two other retrograde planets right now. Next month there will be five. And so the truth isn't out in the open now, but it's coming. And it will probably be out in the open by the time Jupiter goes direct in your sign by the end of July. But for right now, Scorpio, with the moon and Neptune in Pisces trining your sun sign, you could learn an awful lot behind the scenes. However, if you have been involved in anything behind the scenes, there could be a lot of light on that. And also, your rulers, Mars and Pluto, are really uh, on the warpath right now. And so my advice to you, Scorpio, is be still. Just be as still as you can. Try not to react to anything. Don't say anything. Just be still. This could be a somewhat pivotal time in your life right now. And that is because if an accident occurs, it may turn out by the end of summer to be carefully planned, premeditated attack. And I don't know if you would be involved in that or you would be a victim of that. So you need to just be still right now, Scorpio, and careful. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarian? Well, Sagittarius, this is a time when I think that you could get some very surprising news, something you weren't expecting at all. And it might be bad news. And that's because Mercury and Uranus and Aries are trining your sun. It also could be news about young people or lovers who are at odds with each other or who are simply playing the poor me role, wanting to invoke sympathy from a lot of people in order to enrich themselves with additional benefits that they didn't have to earn at all. So there could be some surprising news that is headed your way. And just like Leo, all of the fire signs like to act fast, and this would be a very dangerous time for you to overreact, Sagittarius, so don't do it. That's because those planets and Aries are in real trouble right now. And so you, you mustn't overreact to anything. Instead, since yours is a mutable sign, you need to remember that the moon and Neptune in Pisces are squaring your sun, and Venus in Gemini is opposing your sun sign. So there's something that is a little fishy in a relationship of yours, Sagittarius, and that's why I'm urging you to just keep your guard up and not overreact to anything right now. I think you would be making a mistake and you would regret it. So try to stay cool. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, this is a time when you are really in the power seat right now. And since the planets in your sign are harshly squaring, um, Mercury and Uranus in Aries, I think that there is going to be some sort of surprising announcement that you get, Capricorn, and it could really take you by surprise. I don't necessarily think it's bad, but it could take you enough by surprise that you wouldn't be ready for it, and you wouldn't be prepared, and it would require that you do have to act very fast. So would you succeed at that? Yes, you would, Capricorn. That's because Mars is exalted in your sign and Mars is a real energetic planet. And so if you had to just sort of turn on a dime or act really fast, you could do it. So if you get some surprising news, go right ahead, Capricorn. Nothing is gonna be stopping you and I think you will succeed. 
So don't be afraid to just jump in and do what you have to do. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, this is a time when your ruler, Uranus, is so severely threatened that that kind of can uh, reflect on you as well, Aquarius. And what could you be threatened about? You could certainly be threatened about financial matters because the Sun in Taurus and Jupiter in Scorpio are both harshly squaring your Sun sign. And next week's new moon in Taurus is going to have more planets in it squaring your Sun sign. So this has got to be the time when you decide to settle some sort of matter that is related to finances. And that is because Venus is in Gemini trining your son. So you are going to get some good help or good legal advice right now. And that's why you've got to do it before more pressure builds on you because the pressure is not going to go away. In fact, it will get worse if you don't do something. So this is your time to step up and be as fair as you can because that will really benefit you in the end. Good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, this is a time with the moon and Neptune in your sign when you can be sort of divinely inspired and be feeling very charitable. And in fact, if you're not <coughs> uh, playing the poor me role, you could be responding to other people who are, but they would be coveting the spotlight and trying to enrich themselves. And actually that could cause uh, problems in relationships because they wouldn't exactly be telling the truth either to you or to someone else. So this is not a good time to trust your own judgment, Pisces, because something could be wrong in a relationship right now. It, for one, wouldn't be completely honest. And so this is a better time for you to sort of sit back and wait and see what happens because Uranus and Mercury in Aries are right ahead of your sun sign. You may be a witness to some surprising accident that isn't an accident at all. It could be motivated by jealousy, revenge, or greed. And that is why, Pisces, it would be better if you kept a very low profile. And no matter what you say, make sure you can prove it before you say it, or else just be real quiet right now. All right, thanks so much. Remember, you can see the show, hear the blog, I mean, read the blog and hear our podcast at our website, starborninstitute.org. Bye.